Hey there, in this video, we're going to look at what is a linear function. So a linear function, um, and just to quick recap before we get into linear functions, remember a function is when each X value has exactly one Y value. So a linear function can be represented specifically by the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. And we'll talk a little bit more throughout this unit that m is going to represent the slope of that line and b is going to represent the y-intercept of that line. So a linear function, again, is going to make a line and it, it can always be written in the form y equals mx plus b if it is a linear function. So taking a look at an example of a linear function, the function y equals negative 0.5x plus 2 has a negative slope of m equals negative 0.5. And we'll talk about what that means coming up um, when we have a negative slope. But you'll learn that a negative slope is going to be going down from left to right on the graph. So if I look on the graph, it's going down from left to right, which is what makes it a negative slope. Or in other words, a negative slope makes it go down from left to right. And it intersects the y-axis at this point 0, 02, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, and that is called the y-intercept. And again, we'll talk more about that coming up. Um, and then its solution is going to be the point where the linear graph crosses or intersects the x-axis. So this point right here, it has two names. It actually probably has more than that, probably three, four, or five words that can be used interchangeably. But this is an x-intercept. It also can be called the solution to the equation, which we'll talk more in depth about what that means as well. Um, sometimes it's called a root or a zero. There are many different names for it, but it is the solution of the graph where the y-coordinate is zero. And then the x coordinate is whatever number it falls on on the x axis. So in this case, x equals 4 would be a solution to that equation y equals negative 0.5x plus 2. So in quick summary, linear functions can always be written in the format y equals mx plus b. And remember that m represents what we call the slope. And then B represents the y-intercept. And we'll get more into detail on that, but it's just important to know that the M and the B do affect the graph. They could change the direction of the graph. They could change how steep the graph is. It can change where it crosses the y-axis, where it crosses the x-axis, all of those different things that we'll get into.